hello guys welcome back to another video so in this video i'm gonna be showing you guys how you guys can get instant fps boost in 5m or any game so i'm gonna be showing you guys some windows optimization and tweaks to get really fps boost in all the games so this video is for 5m so guys i'm gonna be showing you some definitely 5m things so First of all guys, open your windows settings, go to apps, go to installed apps and I'm going to be suggesting you guys to delete all the unnecessary apps that you won't use it. So there are some things you have to not to touch like Microsoft things, visuals and vlc plus plus microsoft update theme store etc and except these you guys can have to delete uh, the unnecessary apps that you won't like and after that while you play f uh, 5m or any other game just close all the unnecessary apps that are running in the background and to clear uh, windows caches press windows plus r button this is the step i'm suggesting in every uh, videos to delete all the cache memory in your computer every time when you start the pc or once in a week at least uh, type temp temp press ok and delete all the files in it again open run you can also right click on the start button and click on run or you guys can search run in the search bar and run as administrator so Windows plus R button and type percentage sign before and after the temp. Delete all the files in it. Skip the file that cannot be deleted because they are running in the background. So don't worry. And Windows plus R button together and type prefetch P E I F A T C H. So guys, delete all the files in it also. And at the end, empty your recycle bin. It's compulsory to delete the files permanently. Now we're gonna delete 5M cache memory. So in order to open it, Windows plus R button, again open, run and type app data, A W B D A T A. Go to local, find 5M. Go to 5M application data folder. Go to data folder. Now you can you guys can see cache file uh, cache folder here server cache and server cache priv. So basically, when you join a server, it downloaded content manifest data, which saved in this folder, and uh, and all the servers that you have been connected, uh, the data has saved in this folder. So you guys have to delete this server cache priv folder which contains all the data of that server's uh, content manifest data so this have only the data of yeah, the server not your data and uh, so i recommend you guys to delete this and when you join your server it will re-download the content manifest of that server and will boost the appears so that's it press on your keyboard delete button and you guys can see these files are so much that you can permanently delete them these can can't be uh, moved to recycle bin you can click on yes you guys can see almost 10,000 items that has been deleted now you guys have to delete uh, empty your recycle bin after that if it's contained in recycle bin because i have deleted the permanently them permanently and now I'm gonna suggest you to download this pack, link given in the description, which is a citizen file for 5M a graphics pack for low-end users, which have less textures and trees. This is not recommend for all of you, but if you have really a low-end PC, which gives you like 30, less than 30 FPS, then I suggest you guys use this texture pack, uh, sorry, graphics pack, which have no trees and texture, less textures. So it will give you more FPS, like if you get 30, uh, it will give you 40 to 50. Uh, if you have a high end PC, like it give you a medium PC, like if you get 90, 60 FPS, it will give you like 150 to 180 FPS. 
so right click on it and click on accept here just simply open it and you will see this citizen file a single file in it open run and go to app data open the 5m install location go to local 5m 5m application data folder delete the previous citizen file and paste the new citizen file into this directory now you guys have to launch 5m and connect to the server which you want to play outside the city and also inside the city you guys can check the fps on the left top side it's pretty much getting 150 fps now i'm gonna drive and show you the this these graphics packs have uh, low textures and less trees which will boost your fps you guys can see the beautiful sky it's it was night uh, uh, 10 minutes ago but i was setting them some things so that's it uh, this uh, sky looks beautiful in the morning and beautiful in the night pure starry sky clear so it will give you a better in-game experience so i'm gonna drive outside the uh, city and also in the inside the city so you guys have to monitor the fps so let's start So you guys can see uh, the rendering area of this graphics pack uh, like this you guys can see you cannot see as far because the rendering area is limited so it will also gives you more fps now i'm entering inside the city there is one more thing uh, i'm gonna have to tell you that if you face uh, textual loss in the game you guys have to open up the settings go to advanced uh, sorry graphic settings scroll down and you guys have to increase this uh, extended texture barrier like five ticks one two three four and five now go back and the texture loss issue will be fixed I'm playing on a free ROM server where all where is 500 plus players are playing. You guys can see on the map, every color dot in the map is a person. There are so many people, and after that, you guys can see my app is uh, inside the uh, city. There are so many people uh, like this. If I go near to them, you guys can see the app is it's. 
it's dropping but not that much bearable so guys this is the tutorial hope this video helps you make sure to subscribe my channel and like the video see you in the next video bye guys